Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Today, I wanna to talk to you about VDB objects in Octane Render. So if you've never used a VDB before, it stands for Voxel Database, and it's just a file that you bring into one of your render engines. And a lot of the times they're used for fog or smoke or clouds. And the nice thing about them is you can play with all the parameters in your render engine to change things like the color, the density, the quality of them. So it's a really powerful system. And we just launched the VDB clouds pack with a hundred realistic clouds if you wanna check that out. But let's go ahead and jump into Octane. So under objects, we have a Octane VDB volume and I've already added it and we have just a simple Octane daylight. Under the VDB volume, all we have to do is click on this file button and load them up. VDBs come in different qualities or resolutions. So we have four different resolutions for every cloud. So for 62, we have a .10, a dot 05, dot 03, and a dot 02. So the dot 10 is the lower resolution one if you have these clouds in the background or if you don't want them to, uh, to take so much time to render. If you wanna do a hero cloud or something closer up, you would use the 0.02, that's the highest resolution one. So we'll just load that one up. Now the first thing is we don't actually see it. It's barely a little dot here and that is based on our import unit. So right now it's meters, which means it's really tiny. We're gonna drop down this meters twirl down and you can play around with any of these. But usually if you go up to decameters or hectometers, it'll end up being the right size. So we'll change it to hectometers and see what that looks like. And there's our VDB. So right now it's very wispy and it doesn't look like it has much resolution to it. That's the beauty of using these objects because under the medium tab, under this volume medium, we can play with these settings and get drastically different results. And the main two parameters are density and volume step length. So density is pretty self-explanatory. If we make it less dense, it gets pretty wispy and we can increase the density to reveal more and more of that VDB. So that's how you would increase the density. So the other parameters are under volume step length, and you can think of this sort of as the resolution, and the lower we drop this number, the more resolution we're gonna get from this VDB. So we drop it down a little bit, and already we get more of that kind of cotton candy puffy cloud look. If we keep going down, we're gonna introduce more and more detail in this VDB. And you can start to see the power of using these is that they house a ton of detail and information in here that you can play around with in your render engine. And if we keep going this way and we reveal all of this really dense detail, you're gonna start getting more of kind of like a billowing smoke type look, a really dense and detailed look, which is really cool. Also, just so you know, this is going to increase your render times quite a bit if you make it uh, more high resolution. So we'll leave it a little bit further this way just for this tutorial. All right, so the other thing we can do is play around with the absorption and scattering. Absorption is going to be sort of the thinner wispy parts. You can change the color on those. You go ahead and change those. It's gonna be pretty subtle and you're not gonna see it a ton, but if we go to the scattering and play around with this, it'll uh, kind of influence the denser parts so if we change the color on that, you're gonna get a very drastic change in the color. So that's a really cool way to make some more artistic, stylized uh, smoke and clouds. So those are the basic parameters that you can use for your VDB. The other great thing about them is that you can completely art direct the lighting on them and the shadows and the colors and everything. These are completely responsive to all the lighting. So if you play around with your sunlight, you can get some very different moods and looks. And also these are going to interact really nicely with any of your objects. So if you had something like a text, you can see that it's actually being buried inside of this cloud and being enveloped by it. So it's really cool how these VDBs will just interact with all of your objects and it's super fun to play with. So I hope you learned something new and I hope that if you haven't used VDBs before, you'll realize that there's nothing to be uh, intimidated about. They're really easy to use and super fun. And I hope you guys check out that VDB clouds pack and I'm gonna stop saying BDB now. Okay, bye.